They pop up seemingly all over, on highway signs and overpasses, the elevated subway, even red light camera boxes, sometimes several in one area, promising cash for cars if you call the number listed. People stop here along the Van Wyck Expressway. They use the light post. They use commercial property fences. You've never called the number? Oh, of course not, no. Why not? Uh, trust, I guess. The signs are posted across the city, but we saw many today specifically in Queens. The city sanitation department says it is illegal to post signs and advertisements on poles, boxes, highways, elevated subways, or any similar public location. The department says it does give out fines ranging from $75 to $300. A spokesperson adds their research has shown that most of these companies use a prepaid phone, which makes it difficult to identify a responsible party, but they do also subpoena phone companies. Queen State Senator Tony Avella says it is not enough. Acknowledging the problem and not fixing it is, isn't getting us anywhere. And I'm willing to sit down with sanitation and any other, and especially the phone companies. We have to end this because this is out of control. My name is Andrea Grimes. I'm calling from Channel 2 News, CBS. How are you? I called five of the numbers on various uh -huh. signs, and someone did answer at each number. How much money do you get for the car? He hung up. I got two hang-ups, but three others told me they work for legitimate businesses that do offer money for cars and car parts. They wouldn't consent to being recorded and either wouldn't give me their business name or didn't know it. Two of them said the sanitation department does find them often for the signs, but that doesn't stop them. If you do feel inclined to take up any of these offers, Senator Avella says don't do it. The Better Business Bureau also recommends checking with them first to see if the business has any reviews or complaints complaints on file. That is, if you know the name. In Bayside, Queens, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News.